In today's video, we're gonna cover five cool things you can do in Divi with anchor links. Number one, scroll to and open a toggle with an anchor link. For this example, I'll be using our free accountant FAQ page layout. I'm going to use the button in the top header section as the anchor link so that when clicked, the page will scroll to a specific toggle, which will simultaneously open automatically. To do this, first open the button settings and add the following link URL for your button. Pound sign toggle three. I gave this anchor link the ID toggle three to help remember that I want to link to the third toggle on the page. This ID name will correlate to the toggle CSS ID we will add later. Next, add a unique CSS class to the button module. Type in open dash toggle. This class name helps remind you of the action of the toggle opening when clicking the button. We will use this class in our custom jQuery to get the desired functionality in a little bit. Next, scroll down the page to the row containing the two columns of toggle modules that are being used for the FAQs. Open the settings of the third toggle module in the first column. This is the module we want to scroll to and open when clicking the button. Under the advanced tab, add the following CSS ID, toggle three. It's important that this exactly correlates to the button link URL used earlier. The only difference here is that you must leave out the pound sign. Now go ahead and save changes. The last step involves adding some custom code to the body of our page. To do that, navigate to the Divi theme options and open the integration tab. Then paste the following into the body section. This code will be available in the blog post linked in our video description. After doing that, go ahead and save the changes. Now we can test our page out to see if it works. And as you can see, it works perfectly. If you're interested in understanding each line of the code we just pasted into the body, then check out our blog post for an in-depth breakdown. Number two, create a one-page navigational menu. This sort of menu design can be useful to create links in the menu to jump from section to section on your page. For this example, I'm going to use the Web Freelancer homepage layout. In order to make this work, we need to add CSS IDs to each section that we want to link to. Find the section titled My Services and go into the section settings. Click the advanced tab and add a CSS ID called Services. Next, find the Featured Work section and open the settings. Go back into Advanced and this time we'll add a CSS ID called Work. And finally, scroll down to About Me, open the section settings, go to Advanced and assign a CSS ID called about. With these three sections properly set up with their unique CSS IDs, we can now create our menu anchor links. From the dashboard, navigate to appearance, menus, and create a new primary menu. Now we need to create three custom links with the following URL and link text. Pound sign services, pound sign work, and pound sign about. Don't forget to set your display location to primary menu, then go ahead and save your menu. And here is the final result. Notice the smooth scrolling magic when clicking the anchor links in the navigation menu. Number three, jump to a page section from another page. To demonstrate this, we'll use the previous example. Since we added a CSS ID to three sections on the page, not only can we jump to those sections using our menu anchor links, but we can also jump to those sections from a completely different page. All you need to do is use the URL of the anchor link when creating a link on a different page. For example, if I wanted this sentence from our first page to go to the services section of our newest page, I would simply add a URL. Then I would insert my website, slash page slash pound sign services. And now when I click that link, it brings me right on over to the services section. Number four, use the Divi dot navigation. The dot navigation feature automatically creates anchor links out of your sections. To turn on dot navigation for your page, simply set the dot navigation option to on under the Divi page settings at the top right of the screen when editing your page. Once you turn on dot navigation, Divi automatically adds a transparent menu on the side of your page. Each dot scrolls to the sections throughout your page when clicked. Number five, add anchor links to your headings. Adding anchor links to your headings is always a good idea. It's a great way for indexing longer pages with a lot of content, allowing you to easily navigate to each heading within the same page or to create links to these headings from other pages on your website. To do this, simply find the header tag and enter an ID within the brackets of the beginning header tag. Now I can link to this header from anywhere as long as I use the correct anchor link URL, which for this example should look something like yourdomain.com slash page slash pound sign experience. 
And just to show you, if I click this link, it'll bring me to the other page, but specifically to the experience header. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed these five cool things you can do with anchor links. If this video helped you, then be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and with that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.